what is going on my super fam how have you guys been doing now today we have a video talking about some of the most important things you want to know to prepare for nahida and there are some things in this video that can be missed by many of you which is why i want to make this video to help every one of us prepare for nahida well and so without further ado let's just hop right in now of course none of the info regarding nahida is actually finalized or official so everything we're talking about in this video is gonna be subject to change so you still want to take everything we say here with a grain of salt however regarding the farming material it's rarely actually been changed which is why it's actually good for you to actually start looking into farming her right now especially when there's only like exactly two weeks before Nahida comes and if you're someone who had just built Nilu I can guarantee you that you're in a major lack of resources just like I do and so if you're still wondering which material you need in order to farm for Nahida. I'll be dropping you guys an infographic here that includes everything you need to farm for her and in the total amount as well. Thank you very much for the creator of this infographic that have created this for us. And also guys, if you're not sure where to actually farm any of these, you will want to make use a lot out of the Genshin Impact interactive map because it basically shows you the every single locations of everything you need to know. So I'll have a link to the website in the description description below. Now first off what you want to remember is that Nahida is going to be using the new weekly boss material. I won't be mentioning which boss it's going to be in case that some of us don't want spoilers or you don't already know who it is. As well as her ascension material is going to be down to our Dendro Cube who is also new in patch 3.2. So when talking about weekly boss material you know how hard it is to actually get the right material for your character talents. Not not to mention you're only going to be getting at most two per week so you want to keep in check the numbers of dream solvent you actually have right now because this is one of the most important thing you want to have to make sure that you're able to turn into the material Nahida needs whenever you're not getting the material you want so even when you're not able to farm her weekly boss material yet I would still advise you to continue go ahead and farm some of the current weekly bosses for example our Raiden Shogun to make sure that you're still getting the dream solvent if you actually get it from the drops because it's not always a guarantee for every single time and it can take you a few turns in order for you to get one or two of them. Dendro Spa, the Lotus and her talent books as you have known takes quite a long time to actually grab all of them. Do remember that if you want to spa you don't want to use any reaction regarding Electro and Pyro otherwise you're going to scorch our Dendro enemies and not letting them drop basically the spore. Otherwise you're going to be like me having left with almost no spore and with just some other random sliced dendro material that they drop. Not to mention those of you who are getting her weapons there's going to be more spores as well as our new ruins material that you will need to farm. And guess what guys well kind of congratulations to those of you who didn't build Nilu but if you guys did build Nilu these are all the same material that Nilu had just used. So if you're like me who invested literally everything in into your Nilu, you're practically most likely going to be starting from zero materials. So there's going to be a lot of grinding and farming for the next two weeks if you actually want to be able to kind of max out Nahida once you arrive. Now of course you won't be able to max out Nahida right away because you're stuck with only two drops from our new weekly boss. Therefore at most you're only going to be able to get two of her talent to level 7 or one of her talent to level 8 which I kind of recommend investing all of that into to her e-skill but that's going to be a topic of another video down the week. Regarding SP books and Mora as well I'm pretty sure you know how expensive expensive maxing out a character can get. They do use up a lot of resins to farm as well so remember that you still got our condensed resin that you can buy from the teapot which I do actually recommend you to get at least for the next two weeks. Now on to the most important point whenever you farm for a character we're going to be touching on the artifacts. For Nahida she's going to obviously be using our newest artifacts domain which includes the Gilded Dreams and the Deepwood set. Now the good thing for everyone here 
is that Nahida can actually use both of this set. Therefore, whichever sets you're able to get a better stats on, you can use that. However, the Deep Wood set most likely is already going to be used on our main character already. So the Gilded Dream is the most viable for the time being. But what stinks about this is that the stats you're required to get is one of the hardest in the game that includes EM and Dendro Goblet. In which in my whole career of Genshin Impact for the past few weeks, I have only got one Dendro Cups and it's not that good. So that is only leaving me with the EM option for the time being. Of course, I have to farm more on this. But if you don't have Dendro Goblet, then you can technically use EM Sans and EM Cup on Nahida and then of course a crit ratio circlet for her. So hearing that we're able to substitute a Dendro Cup with an EM Cup seems like an easy things to do. But mind you, EM stats on artifacts is still one of the hardest stats to get through all of the stats and is sometimes even rarer than the elemental damage bonus themselves. So I wish you luck regarding farming all of that. And so that should be everything I have to say regarding this short little video. I hope that it has been fun and enjoyable for you. If you're new to the channel and love Nahida, be sure to subscribe as many of my next video I will be talking in depth into Nahida. Because of course she's gonna be coming pretty soon and I believe that our live stream should be sometime during this week. So guys, I appreciate you sticking with the video and with that, I wish you a super day and I will catch you on my next video.